All right, so from here, what I want you to do is take all of your attention and focus it on the hanging weight. Okay, now I want you to, just like Jason Day, I want you to create a picture in your mind of the weight swinging towards you and away from you. So picture the weight swinging back towards your body and then away from you out towards me. Be as clear as you can be with the picture. Have some fun being creative. Maybe you're picturing a ride at a carnival, like a big pirate ship ride, swinging like a pendulum towards you and away from you. With each pass, I want you to picture the weight swinging on a bigger, wider, and faster arc. Picture it swinging back and hitting you in the nose and then swinging back towards me and, and hitting me in the nose as well. Okay, so now I want you guys to change the picture and I want you to imagine the weight swinging around the numbers of a big massive clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way back up to 12 and then around again. And with each pass, just like before, I want you to picture the weight swinging on a bigger, faster, and wider arc. We're no longer on the pirate ship, now we're on the swings. The weight's traveling around and around. Keep increasing the speed until you feel like the weight is going to swing out of control. All right, everyone can stop. Put your weights on the ground in front of you. All right, show of hands. Based on the picture, who got the weight to move? Everybody. Who got it to move like a lot? Who got it to move just a little? Right, but for everyone it moved. So, I didn't ask you to move the weight, did I? I asked you to picture the weight moving, and what happened? It started moving according to your picture. Who thinks that alone is pretty interesting to consider? Yeah, I do. It blows my mind every time. So, if you weren't physically trying to move the weight, but it was moving, why was it moving? Jaden? Because you're picturing it. But what did the picture do? What did the picture make occur? Like it told yourself to make it move, kind of. That's right. So the picture up here manifested itself out there. Picturing it here created an action in your hand that made the weight swing according to that picture. This is real important stuff, right? So mental toughness 101, what you just experienced is this lesson right here. And if you remember and understand and apply this lesson and everything you do for the rest of your life, just knowing this can make a huge impact. So lesson number one in mental toughness is what I think is what I do. Another way to consider that is what I think about, I bring about. What I focus on, I give rise to. My outer world is a reflection of my, my inner world. So what's being created up here, whether you like it or not, is going to present itself out, out there. Well, that's really important because if what we think about is what we bring about, don't you guys think it's important for us to only think of things that are in line with how fantastic we want our golf game and or our life to be? Does it make sense? So people that are mentally tough, people that work with mental toughness coaches, they understand this. So they're always trying to train their minds only in ways that serve their ability to perform and be happy.